a good day too. So I'm just going to give you a little quickie here. Um, what uh, I've been sort of kind of working on today. Waiting for the vault and stuff to show up for the funeral. Uh, did a little cardboardy cutout. Basically what this thing's going to look like. I was more almost concerned about gaps and stuff. And you know, so I pretty much had the profile Dewey kind of already done. So I'm kind of liking that. So now mind you, this is going to be like whatever three quarter inch I think was the width of these things so it's just giving me a rough idea kind of tore through this one a little bit oops forgot it was paper <laughs> so yeah so the uh, I'll show you inside here on the bucket how this is going to work but basically what I'll do is uh, this will stay mounted like this all the time and uh, when I want to switch buckets there'll be one pin goes through here and then one pin which stays in the in the bucket all the time and I'll uh, be able to just go in and give it a <coughs> like this, pick it up, and then the bucket should flop around. I'll be able to pin it, and away you go. So that'll work uh, pretty slick, I think. So let me uh, take this apart here, and we'll take her inside. And I'll kind of try to simulate as if we were hooking a bucket or something onto it. Okay, so basically this uh, pin will stay in here all the time. Now these pins aren't going to work like that because the, uh, the outside grabbing dewies here have to grab into here right kind of thing so what I'm gonna have to do is probably drill mark and drill these fellers here and put some kind of pin in there to keep it from flopping out so do that or I get another hunk of big bar like my big bar I got there and uh, do it again like that but anyway so pretend this is hooked to the tractor okay we want to the tractor will be over on this side okay so uh, oh, I can't do it too well this iPhone thing so basically this will be on the arm of the backhoe. We'll come in here. And if I can get her. <laughs> it's pretty good for, for cardboard, but no, this isn't just gonna show you too well. I'm gonna have to maybe do another video for you. So okay, so we've hooked her like that. Now we can uh pick her up and it should flop down enough that we can get that uh pin lined up there. And basically all we got to do is drive the pin through the bucket, which they all have the, the same dewey. Just like that. And uh, once you get her ready to rock, flop another keeper dewey in, and you're ready to work. So this will be always hooked to the, to the backhoe here, right? So now you want to take her off. I want to switch to the ripper tooth, say. Ugh, pull that pin. This will be much nicer when it's metal. <laughs> pull this pin. Okay. Then we should be able to just push down and out with the tractor. Uh, <coughs> like that. And she'll, she'll come loose. Pick the thing up over here. Flop the next one on, flip her on, click the pin in. That is the master plan. <laughs> right there, that fella there. So I'm kind of hoping that she's going to work the way I'm stinking here. And uh, this is a copy. I'll send a little picture too on the end of this video. Maybe a copy of the uh, sort of idea of the one that uh, his name is Paul Short. And he lives out in Newfoundland, Canada, eh? Feller Canadian, eh? And he kind of come up with this concepty thing. And uh, also, these will be, of course, you know, wider. And then have probably a... Uh, what did he have? He had a, a thing bent all the way around, I think it was. So it was like a flat piece of like 3 8 something like this or something. That I'll probably do it like that, you know. And then, uh, sorry again, heater. Heater up and then start to bend her all the way around. So we get to this side, and then that'd be a, like a an extra little grab and liner upper and dewy thing. So I kind of think it should work. The concept is there. So uh, it's this one here, I guess, that is going to take a lot of the abuse. So that's why it's kind of set up like that because this one is the one that's always going to be curling, where this one just kind of pivots there. So it's this one here that's going to take a lot of the abuse. So probably have to put like another collar thingy along outside of here too to like a boss or I think they call them a boss to uh, beef that up a little bit for the you know for the big pin 
So, yeah, but anyways, that is the general idea. Uh, I'm going to mull this over in my head a few more days. I'm pretty much liking the design I've got of this. I think it should work pretty good. It's going to be probably a little different. Like, you know, i got a hunk of cardboard here, but this is going to have to be like a piece of half-inch plate or something. Maybe half-inch and, I don't know, half-inch will probably be lots. It's kind of hard to say because these things here have to get welded basically the same width as these onto the top here too, right? So that's like the main bracket thingy that goes on the tractor. I did quite a few different designs. Uh, this one was uh, too short this way, I think. I wasn't liking it being that close to the inside of the plate because of the where the backhoe thing is in here. It's got to have a bit of room for pivoting and stuff. And that was uh, another one I uh, wasn't too crazy on. I can't remember what was wrong with that one now. I got a few designs, though. <laughs> There's another one there. Just really didn't like it too much. There was something something about it I wasn't liking. Oh, these ones here, sorry. So I changed it again. Pretty much burned up all my paper. But that's okay. I think we got her now. And there's the original master. You don't ever burn up your master because that gives me the dimensions for the holes, right? So that's the one for, for right there. And pretty much the same right there, too. So, But, yeah, she should work good. Uh, we'll maybe get into laying some of those on some steel. Um, the next uh, couple of days or so, whatever. I guess this is Thursday already, so maybe not till next week now. I don't know. Maybe maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And uh, I guess basically I'm going to have to get some steel. I got some half-inch stuff here, I guess, that will work. But uh, two half-inches together to make basically these things would be too wide. I think it's three-quarter inch is what I normally make these at. Although... That almost looks like two half inch pieces there. Oh no, maybe not. Well, what on earth did I use when I built this one? Must have used a three eighths or something. I don't know, I'll have to measure that up and see, but I got lots of three eighths still back here, so that'll work good if I have to use some of that. Uh, think, actually, the stuff here is a three eighths. Or maybe that's a quarter, I can't remember now. But we got we got materials. That's not going to take a whole lot up. So, but uh, if not, I got lots more here. I think these are halves. And there's a three eight. That's the big thick feller there. And I think this one actually here is a three eight too. Yes, it is. A three eight. I think. I think. I think. But anyway, so we can source all that out later. That's not a a big dooly dealy right now, but it uh, looks like I'm pretty much going to have to cut all these out of here by hand. You know, with the plasma by hand, but uh, that's okay. I can uh, try to wiggle through that, I guess. By the way, sorry about the real close-up videos and everything, but... And the maybe shakiness of some, but uh, just on the iPhone today, so... But, uh, yeah, so anyways, I uh, just wanted to show you that and... Give you a little update. This might actually even get trimmed out of here a little bit i don't know we'll have to wait and see i guess but uh yeah we will talk to you uh, probably tomorrow got nothing really planned for tomorrow so we might uh go ahead and do a bit of this but anyways till then we'll talk to you then have a good night thanks for watching